Hey everybody who watches this video, I wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. I know a lot of you have reached out to us and thank you so much for reaching out. But I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on here. Ugh. It's so much. It's just, it's so much and we are like super exhausted. Um, so as you guys know, we started the GoFundMe. Um, to help get us back home due to Tony, you know, for several reasons, but mainly Tony's health, right? And now I am sharing it more because now it's not just his health. It's the war that's literally going outside, like going on outside of our house, literally. Um, so a lot's been going on here in Ecuador, a lot of gang violence, and I... <clears throat> I wasn't sure that I wanted to speak out about it publicly because a lot of press are getting in trouble. Um, but I figured, you know what? I always told you guys that I'd be completely transparent with you. So that's what I'm doing. There's been a lot of violence. There's been a lot of bloodshed. There's been bombings, um, kidnappings. So much. It's just, you can, um, if you like Google it, it'll come up and probably your, you Google like quite, no, just Ecuador. It'll come up for you guys. Um, but I share some of the videos. I don't share a ton because a lot of it is not censored. And I know a lot of people have a weak stomach, but there's just so much going on. Like the jails are overpopulated here. And I've seen some horrible stuff going on in the jails. It's just, it's just crazy. It, I never in my life thought that I would be seeing these things like firsthand, like dealing with it. So um, it's like a now for our safety also, I am trying to raise money to get us home faster. Um, I don't like asking for help. I don't, I don't. And it makes me feel like so sad that I even have to do it. But I had to swallow my pride and put this out there and um, let you guys know. I appreciate everybody who has donated. You guys are amazing. That money has went towards paperwork. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have enough to cover what we need to. So that's why we're raising more money. Um, it's just, I want to tell you guys that we appreciate you so much. I'm so tired. So I look like crap. I'm looking at myself in the camera and I look horrible. Um, we're exhausted, but we appreciate you guys, those who check in on us and those who have contributed. We had a beautiful, generous donation, um, last week and it was from a friend, a friend of mine and she did a generous donation. So we're so thankful for that. And she did it in her son's name, which is very special and it meant a lot to me. Um, so we were able to put that towards some of the paperwork that we needed to do. And we still have more to go. It's a process when it comes to immigration and courts, as you guys know, it's a process. So now it's just not Tony's health. It's trying to get out of here safely and soon. Um, he actually fainted today, which literally scared me to death. Like it's, we don't know what's going on with him because we can't take him to the doctor because we don't have the money to do so. Um, he has low blood sugar. He's anemic. He has an ulcer. I think he has complications from his surgery that he had, to be honest with you. Um, he gets lightheaded. He's had seizures before, so it's like I never know what to expect, as I'm sure you guys, you know, you guys know this because we had to do another fundraiser for him. So we never know what to expect, so what's going to happen. So he was dizzy. He was in the kitchen, and I felt so bad because he went to go try to sit down. He didn't make it to the couch. And he fell onto the ground and he was just super weak and shaking and it was just horrible. So he's better now. He's up in bed, but I wanted to come on here and give you guys an update on what's going on here. So we are in the process of trying to get home. We just trying to raise more money or get more money and work has been kind of crazy for us. Tony can't go outside. Um, I don't want him to go outside because of everything that's going on. Like we're still in a, in an emer a state of emergency or country of emergency, but like they have the military on the streets and because Tony's tattooed, not just him, but anybody who's tattooed, 
They're literally like stripping you down to your boxers in the street looking for a specific tattoo. And I don't want them to do that to him. Like, so it's it's been difficult financially for us. And if I had the money to, we're trying to get by day by day. And that's that's also something that's been hard for me to come out and say because I worried about what other people would think. Okay, and we always, you know, a lot of the time we worry about what others are gonna think, but you know what? I'm struggling. 2023 was so hard. And I was like, our last year was just, it's been super hard on us and we're just exhausted, but we're struggling. And I don't always post about how bad we're struggling, but we are, and we're trying to make it just day to day um we're selling some stuff because we can't bring everything with us anyway but um we're trying to sell some stuff and it's not really selling or else we'd put that towards you know the lawyers and immigration ourselves but right now we just we don't have it so um it's been hard it's been one heck of a year for sure i'm leaning on faith right now and a lot of a lot of prayer I know that it's so much worse in other places. I know that, and I hate to come on here and complain about what's going on here. Um, so I don't like doing that. I don't like complaining. It's just been, I know you guys have been asking, so I'm coming on here to let you guys know um, what's going on because a lot of you care, and I don't mind you asking. Like I have no, like I love that you guys reach out to us. I love that you guys ask us questions and that you check on us. So I appreciate it. But I figured why not do a video to let you guys know what's going on. I didn't want to do this. Like I contemplated it for a while because I look completely horrible. But I'm like, you know what? Nobody's going to be here. Like, like nobody's going to care what, what you look like. And judge me if you want to. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on. It's just, you know. People do fireworks here throughout the year, but sometimes you don't know whether you're hearing a firework or a gunshot. All we hear is helicopters and planes all day long. Um, they don't really encourage you to go out. We had to have our gates put up in our community, which they're gonna be raising the rent now because of that, that we had to have gates put up in our community because um, there was a shooting like, I can't even explain. It's like two minutes, like a minute away if you run up the street. Um, I took a picture at, in that stairs before it happened, obviously, um, with a friend of mine when she came down from um, Spain. So, yeah, I took a picture there in the stairs, and this one that has the mural. Well, somebody was shot there, and that's literally right next to my house. So, finally, they decided to put up some security gates. Like, it took somebody getting shot and killed. So, it was like literally happened right there. So... Um, we do have good security right now, which we're thankful for. So we're just kind of hunkered down and just going day by day, trying to get closer to getting home. Um, I think that's it for now. If I think of anything else, then it will come back on. But if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer it. And I thank you guys for the donations, for the thoughts, for the prayers, for the messages. I am going to leave the GoFundMe link in the bio or caption or something like that. I'll leave the GoFundMe link if anybody wants to or can donate or share, whichever you can. It's greatly appreciated if you can do either or. Um, like I said, I don't want to come on here and beg for money. And if I didn't need it, those who know me know that I am a giving person. I love to give. That's just, that's what I love. And I don't like asking for money. I don't like asking for anything. And I wish I could just take care of everybody. But, and I will one day. One day I will. I'm going to pay this all forward. I'm going to pay it all forward. And I promise to do good. And um, so, yeah, I appreciate all of you guys. I am going to share the GoFundMe link. Let's get us home, guys. Let's get my babies home. I can't wait. I am excited. But like I said, we're tired. We're, we've been fighting this. I've, I've cried a lot about this. I'm just tired. That's it. 
I'm tired and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start over again. It's our time. We've done our time and um, I'm just ready. So, all right. If you made it this far, oh my goodness, 10 minutes. I appreciate it so much and I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon and thank you so much for everything.